So for this transformation, I will be using my very old Clay Wood Denial. I believe this is almost three years old. I do believe that this is one of my first repaints as well. And I just wanted to use Cleo Denial because I love her facial structure. So first we go ahead and take off her hair and make sure that she is clean off of my repaint and also the factory paint. After everything is clean and sprayed with Mr. Super Clear, I go ahead and proceed with the face up. I'm using white to kind of outline and sketch out her initial features. I tried using my regular brown, but it was very very close to her skin tone and I literally could not see. I was like going blind. So I knew I had to redo it and this is my second attempt for her repaint. And now you can actually see the lines, which is great. For Applejack, I wanted her to have more of a relaxed, aloof expression. I didn't really want it to be an actual expression where it's harder to photograph, but I did want her to look more relaxed and just calm at the same time. Now I'm going to go in with the black watercolor pencil just so we can redefine everything and make sure all the lines are clean and crisp. And this way I can actually see where the lines are going to go. And I also start coloring her eyes with green and white. So as you can see, her eyebrows are kind of lost in space and you can't really see it. It's there and it's defined, but it's just so hard to tell. And so I kind of wanted to bring that out by adding highlights to her brow bone and also filling her eyelids with white. This way we can have a lighter base so that I can actually smoke it out later. And also when I put on the eyebrows, it actually shows up better. I know right now that it might look a little too harsh or a little too out of place, but trust me, it will look a lot better later. It will calm down every time we spray MSC. It's just gonna fade and fade and it won't be as opaque. I was kind of questioning what eyebrow color I wanted to give her. At first, I wanted to give her everything blonde and I wanted her to have such a blonde eyebrows. But I thought that was going to be too much or too harsh for her face, and so I went with brown. So now I'm going to go ahead and define her eyes with different colors of green. Right now, it does look very cat-like, like the green of her eyes looks very cat-like, but it's not going to be like this later on. I'm just adding some blonde hair details for her eyebrows, just so that it has more dimension and it's not like a block eyebrow. And I'm also adding highlights to her cupid's bow and also her nose. I'm mostly using pastels for her lips and some color pencil here and there just so that it gives it the hint of red. I know that red was going to be her lip color, but at the same time, I didn't want it to be kind of like a lipstick look. I wanted it to be more softer and more natural looking. And now comes my favorite part, which is adding the freckles. I love doing freckles on dolls. I did it for Rainbow Dash as well. And I knew for sure that Applejack needed some. So for her freckles, I was using a dark peach and also kind of like a beige color. Just so that it stands out as well. Now I'm just pretty much finishing the eyes and making sure every detail is on point. And as you can see, I'm adding the lower eyelashes, not too heavy and not too short either. And I'm also adding the catch lights to her eyes. For some reason, I've been using a lot of actual lashes. I kind of like how it looks and it just looks more realistic. And obviously I love the 3D aspect of it. And now we're pretty much done with her face. And now it's time for the costume. 
So this is the concept for her costume that I have made and I posted this on my Instagram page so you guys have seen this like three weeks ago. I definitely wanted her to have a very western inspired look so you can see over here she has the bolo tie, the cowboy hat, the cowboy boot, the fringe jeans. I just wanted everything to be very western and very country and I think I pulled everything in with her flannel. This top is actually provided by Amanda from Mystical Moonstone. I provided her the fabric and she made the top for me. I knew it was going to be a challenging project if I tried to sew it and I honestly wanted it to be kind of professionally made and so I asked for her help. So as you can see, I'm just adding kind of like an embroidered look to her flannel. I knew that I wanted it to be very western inspired and so I was looking at a lot of references for this top. I knew that I wanted to give her a bolo tie and I'm also using this bead cap over here which looks like a flower and I got it from Joann's and I just thought it was a really really great detail. And I'm also painting in the buttons for her shirt. For the pants, I actually made these pants off camera, but as you can see, it's very basic, it's not professionally made, and I'm just adding these fringes that I got from a local fabric store. It was a fringe trim, and I thought it was perfect for the pants I envisioned for Applejack. So now we have one side done, and I'm just going to be mirroring that on the other side, and I'm also going to be painting details on her pants. For her hat, I'm just going to be cutting this cardboard that I pre-measured to her head. And for the hat's crown, I'm actually going to be using epoxy sculpt, and I'll be sculpting it onto her head. If you guys are going to do this, make sure that you do protect the doll first with plastic wrap, cling wrap, saran wrap, anything. And as you can see, I'm molding the hat with her wig on so we can get an actual size of her head. So now we remove the hat and I'm going to start painting it brown. As you guys may have noticed, I've been using a lot of browns and caramels and creams for the color palette for Applejack. I definitely wanted it to be more earthy in terms of the tones and the feeling of her color scheme. And I think overall it looks really great. As you can see, I'm using glue gun to kind of give off a textured look for the hat or kind of replicate a embroidery look. At first, I was just going to paint all these details, but I knew that it was going to look too plain and kind of like solid. And I think overall, it looks really, really great when you dry brush it with black and gold. I really really love the combination of the gold with the brown details, especially when you dry brush it. I don't know, for some reason it just looks so rustic and earthy and it's literally what I'm going for for Applejack. So for her boots, I will actually be creating it from scratch and this is actually the first thing that I made when I started Applejack as a project. And as you can see, I'm just cutting out the soles using cardboard and I'm gluing it onto her feet. I was really inspired by Nicole's Dreams or Andrea and also Walker Colors here on YouTube. I was actually kind of looking through how to make doll boots and I stumbled upon their tutorials. So I will link their channels down below. I was actually making these boots during a live stream, so hello to those who were in my live stream. Say hi in the comments down below if you guys were there. So I actually just covered her entire leg with foil and I'm also going to be taping the entire leg just so that it's more secured. Right. 
Then I take some tissue paper and I'm just doing some paper mache on her boots. This will add an extra layer to make the boots a little more sturdy. After it's dried, I take an X-Acto knife and I cut the back of her boot. For the heel, I do want it to be a stiletto heel, so I'm taking this pin needle and I'm using it as a base for the heel. Then I'm taking the epoxy sculpt again, just to give it more shape. Just to make sure that the heel is secured and in place, I will be taking my super glue just to reinforce it. And then I'm painting her boots the same exact color as her hat. And I think I forgot to mention, but I'm actually using Nefra Denial's body for Applejack. I just kind of wanted her to be taller than the rest of the girls, so I'm using a big sister monster high for this custom. And then to make the boots look older and dirtier, I am dry brushing it with black. For the raised details and the embossed kind of look, I'm using my glue gun again, like we did for the hat, just to add more details to the boots. And then again, I used the gold to kind of raise all of the details back up. And just for extra details, I will be taking these fun foams and we will be creating a boot spur for her. This was actually such an interesting detail, I never thought that I would be making a boot spur for any of my dolls, but here we are making boot spurs. I believe their main purpose when they're worn is to kind of direct the horse to move forward or to tell the horse to start moving. Um, I could be wrong, but I do believe that's the look. And I added the detail because I knew I wanted something around her ankles or something. I just wanted something around her boots because it was looking a little too plain. And uh, why not add a spur? So here we have the finished boots and they look great. I cannot complain anymore. I wish I had these for myself, but they look awesome and they look so, so cool. We are almost done. I'm just gonna be adding a couple of details here and there with some belt and also some rope around her waist. We are finally done with her outfit, you guys, and I actually can't believe I was able to get this as close to the sketch that I have created. You guys know I kind of released the sketches of these dolls early on on my Instagram page, and I actually can't believe I was able to do it. Now let's go ahead and finish her up with her face and her hat. And as always, the wig tutorial for Applejack will be released in a separate video, just because I didn't want this to be like an hour long, so yeah.
hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know down below what you guys think of my rendition of Applejack. I really really love her. I think overall her look is very quintessential Applejack for me at least. I think she looks great and I love all of the elements and details from head to toe. If you guys are new to my channel and you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and also ring that bell button so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!